Hey yeah there guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Twixter uh, to slow down your your video so it can be really smooth and silk slow motion. So first things first, you want to get your clip in After Effects, so file import, file. I'm going to the intro, drag it on, there we go. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Composition, New Composition, and under Composition Settings, you want to make it 1280 by 720. And depending on what your video is recorded in, you want to have that frame rate. For example, I rendered in, I rendered in 60 frames per second. If you're using a PVR, that is 59.94, and it does it does make a difference. So I'm going to make the video track just a minute for now. You can change it later and just import your clip it says just there 60 frames per second so you want to you match it and you always want to match the 60 now this is bad quality in the preview here that's because I've got it on quarter put it on to full that looks alright so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and Tick this little enables frame blending. You want to tick that. That makes it just a little bit more slow motion and um, makes it a bit more smoother anyway. Then what you want to do is you want to right click on the layer, go to time, and you want to go to enable time remapping. And then once you've done that, I'll bring up these keyframes, etc. We're not going to do anything to do with that yet. We're going to be using Twixter. Now you might have to download Twixter if you don't have it. Yeah, I believe you can just search it on uh, on, um, on Google and most probably download it. Anyway, if you see here on Twixter it says input frame 29.970 frame rate. Uh, that, that's not what we want. Uh, you might want to use 59.94 depending on what you rendered in. But mine's in 60. And nothing will change as of yet, but if you go down to effects... Twixter 4.5 and output control, and if you have your clip on it on the f on um, the first base, first keyframe. Why did I say base? And you can maybe keyframe it to 100%. Well, 100 is normal speed, so if you go higher, it'll basically increase the speed, and if you go lower, it will lower the speed. So if you just keyframe it, you can maybe make it make it two. That is rather slow motion. And then you can maybe make it there, maybe make it about uh, 20. And it will start off slow motion. Uh, I'm just gonna, in fact, I'm going to change it to, um, to quarter to render it out just to show you. That is the basic way how to do it. You see that it's going slow. It might lag in this preview and what I'm recording in. But if you try it, you'll realize that it should not lag. And if it does lag, that's to do with your, don't know what it's really to do with, but it's to do with your computer. And once you render it, it should be alright. But anyway, look, if you look there, that's like really smooth. on the, And it starts to speed up to the um, fifth to the 25, whatever I set it as. So it slowly builds up. Uh, if I delete that keyframe and render it again, it should just stay at that. The little green bar is basically how far it is to build in the dynamic round preview. So we have nearly done now. Oh, okay, play. It's really, really slow. And you can have it, there you go. Maybe just drag it out a bit more. If you just keep dragging it out, like, because if you got on two, it'll be really slow. So just keep dragging it out, and you'll start to see more of the clip. Maybe if you got a larger clip, um, make the composition settings longer. So composition, composition settings, and you can always change it here. Okay. And as you see there, it's just going really slow. And it's, it's just really smooth as well. 
and that is how you do it. Um, you can maybe click this box there, frame blending. It just basically blends a few of the frames together. But anyway, that's about it from me, guys. Uh, one thing I would like to say before I go, um, I, I, I would like to uh, start a website. Um, however, that is not my strongest point in, um, in in basically graphic design. So if anybody is willing to host or, or, or help me out, it uh, would be greatly appreciated. Uh, just send me a message. Uh, yeah, send me a message. But apart from that, that's about it, and um, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.